And I think we're up. Hello. I think we're online. Yep. I'm uh, going to do a little bit of a, a different stream today. I got... First custom keyboard in. So, we're going to have some fun and build a keyboard today. And I was messing around with my iPad, so I don't have an overhead fancy thing. But we're going to go to a desk camera. Yeah, so I've got this little side view here. Hello. Right now I'm using just this Keychron K2. But, uh, let's make some room here. you up. All right. Let me get a knife. I don't have a fancy one, like all of the other keyboard people I see, but this buck knife has been with me for like 15 years now, and it's never failed me yet. that it has some sound issues. So I do have some sorbethane arriving. Ooh. Came with a nice case. That's pretty cool. I do wish I had a down cam, but I don't. I wonder if I could tilt this a little bit better. I'm using an iPad. Let's see, what if I put my little... I'm gonna try and improve the angle here. Exciting.
Damn, that does have some heft to it. That is nice. Went with black. I don't know if they lubed the stabilizers or not. Please watch the instructional video at the link below before attempting to assemble the keyboard. Improper assembly can damage the PCB. Well, what do you know? Why don't we take a look just in case? Normal keys, pages. In case sixty five assembly. This is just for assembling. Okay. Ah, we've got little Torx guys, huh? I'm pretty sure I have. Let me go find my tools real fast and I'll be right back.
Okay, and I return. Got a tool set here that I believe has a Torx that fits this guy. Those are tiny. Try the small one first. Six. Yeah, it looks like it. Hello, Denny X. Welcome to a slightly different stream. We're gonna build a keyboard for fun. some more light. And got some lubed glorious pandas that we're going to put in this guy. Why, thank you. I've got an iPad. This, where's the camera? You. This is an iPad that I figured out how to set up with a, as a camera. I don't have a down-facing one like some of the other makers have to look at my, my desk. thing to put those screws in. Before I knew about, um, that's gonna be in the way. Before I knew about, uh, the, uh, clones being horrible, which I have to agree, I'm not really, these are HK gaming, and, uh, the only HK gaming that I will, um, have bought, they are, XDAs, so instead of those I don't have any fancy my I have a couple group buys on GMK and an EPBT set, but those aren't gonna come for a while so off drop I grabbed some cherry profile PBT the uh what are they called? Red Alert. Just the base kit. I think it'll it'll work for the NK65, but these guys. Some red and whites. Though I am I tried to see about Cherry, and I don't really know what, um, about the side over here. We'll see when we get to the caps and what happens. I might have to order some extras for the 65, I don't know, since it is a sculpted set.
Okay. And we lift. There we go. Yeah, I went for some nicer ones. Oh, it does have a little Swiss cheese kind of pad in there. I have some sorbethane coming that will, um, that I've heard can help improve the sound. Alright, what's this video say now? Brace the hot swap with your finger. Align the switch pins with the socket, and just press firmly into place. Gotcha. Well, I want to take a look at these stabilizers first. And find out if they, uh... Bothered to... these don't look... lubed. I've already lubed all these, as you can see. I've spent the time to lube every single one of those, so you don't have to sit and watch me do that for the next nine hours or so. Ah, there are the screws, I see them. There's one there. And one there, they are little tiny Phillips. So we'll move the. That is a nice heft to it. That feels. It's nice and weighted. Hello, Zacky01. Yeah, I. I wanna. I didn't. Even if they've been factory lubed, I wanna do it myself since this is my first time. I've got some Crytox 205 grade zero. I used some Glorious G-Lube on the Glorious Pandas, so that those are lubed with that already. These are Duroc, but these are unfortunately only for a PCB mount, so we cannot use those. Though, so I've got some Hippos that um, I'm waiting for um, films to arrive, and I'm going to lube and film these Hippo linears. These are linears. So we'll get to play with those at some point after we give the Glorious Pandas a shot. Okay. I need to swap to a Phillips head to get this PCB out. The hippos? Yeah. Um, I asked Alex Otos on one of his streams, uh, what he did for them, and he recommended filming and lubing. Because I saw the first build he did, and they, I think they came factory lubed. These are not lubed. Mine, mine are totally factory dry, so... Don't need to worry about that, but... I would like to film- I, I don't want to lube and then put them in and then take them out and film them again, so I'm going to wait and do it all, all in one go. Let's go with... you. Well, that's a very soft screw. I gotta be careful on these. So they don't strip. Hmm. 
Those screws don't want to move. Yeah, I'm gonna be very careful. They used some very soft screws here. And they are not turning. somebody on geek hack the piece the two PCB Phillips screws are insanely tight That's not turning at all. Hmm. I wonder... Do you think I need to be... In order to get these out... Do I need to remove the PCB in order to access the, uh... Plate mount screws? Plate or sta stabilizers. like it so just use like a flat head push down and pop them okay so I don't need to remove the the PCB I guess in order to do this one of these smaller ones first. Just that and that. Is that it? That's it. Well that was easy. Just 
Cool. I don't even need this big flathead to do this. instead. go set you aside for later okay lube I need my brush I'll be right back Cry talks, not the G loop. <laughs> okay, and just to remind myself, I've watched this a few times, but we're gonna pull up the tutorial. like or they don't need to be not up to the bends either. I don't believe they have been, um, I don't know if there's a way to, I don't have a good camera for this stuff. <laughs> They don't have the claws or the feet, so I don't think they need to be clipped. Yeah, they go flat. For the most part. Oh, 
Okay, so... It's black, so I don't have a way of... of telling in there. But... We're just gonna lube the sides... of the housing. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could clip. It has tiny little legs. It's it's flat, as you can see, but um, it does have it does have legs that you could clip off, but they don't have the claw feet. So I don't think you would gain anything by doing that. So. Dab each side, and then lube the short ends, lube one long side, lube, okay. some overhead lights like like work office type this isn't gonna look great for my lighting on the camera but I need to see different than uh, the Durox ones that Teha shows in his video, but I'm going to follow at least a similar a similar approach at least. This, these cherry one, what, these are cherry, or are the NK branded ones, I think they're the, they're cherry, I'm not sure. They have a lot more, like, gaps and, and weird things, but anyway. So there's the housing. goes to the back. Short side, left like that. 
that. I'm looking like that. Okay. So this is where we do a generous amount along here and then go up around the bend also, right? A little bit past the turn. hefty amount or rather where it looks nice and coated I could actually do a little more Short legs to the right. say that's one. This is confusing. I'm having to interpret everything to different stabilizers and look at them and how they go back together. Behave very differently.
push over to the right. Or rather, I guess, small, small hole forward. Huh. like some state lube stabilizer to me. Okay, let's keep going. for this. This thing is like starting to have hairs go crazy. It is completely impossible to really see in a black stabilizer housing without, like, direct workshop lights. <laughs> But it looks lubed. So the two holes goes forward. That's what the way to look at it. There we go.
There we go. I want this go in. It doesn't like go in as easily as he seems to show it. There we go. Holy pandas, nice. The uh are they the originals or are they the drop holy pandas? Did you make some classic original holy pandas off the what are they the envir and uh the other thing? Ah, the drops. Nice. How are the springs in yours? Um, somebody on Salvin's Discord, Tony Stark, was saying uh, his springs were all different sizes. Or rather, lengths, I mean, different su different length springs. A lot of ping. Yeah, this, uh, this, um, NK65 apparently is gonna have some bottoming out, like, ping or hollowness, because of the aluminum body. So, I have some sorbethane coming in a week to try and cut and put to the bottom, which should be a fun task. the space bar after this and we should be good to go with putting switches in. I've heard the silicon pad in uh inside of the, um... Inside the NK65 is not enough to clean up the, uh, the sound of it. But we will see. They're all gooped up.
space bar. Looking forward to when I can actually use the Duroc V2 stabilizers I got. I am on the flex batch for a GMMK Pro. I don't have any hope of getting that until the end of the year now though, based on the speed that they're fulfilling those. And I got in the Salvation group buy, but that will be for next year probably. down. I don't understand why sometimes it goes through the hole and sometimes it doesn't. Okay. There's our stabilizers. I'm going to wash my hands real fast before we continue, so I'll be right back.
Okay. Um, let's put these back in. And what we should we we should probably we do those switches first, right? Test our stabilizers. from the back. Wasn't too tough. Bar. And the shift. All right, let's get some, put some caps on that. Pretty good. So I've had these, uh, I've had blue Gatterons, some clicky Gateron blues for a while. Are they Gateron or they Gateron? I've heard both ways. I don't know what comes through. I have a gate on my mic. I can turn that off. And that... 
That is without the, uh, the backing put on yet, however. So, let's get this other shift on here. And real fast, let's... Yeah, I think you can hear what people are talking about. I'm just gonna screw it together so that we can hear that. I don't know if these screws will absorb. I think this is why people rushed for the entry edition, the polycarbonate case, is because it's a lot, um... It definitely doesn't have this, uh, aluminum rattle or, uh, resonance to it. But... I wasn't expecting miracles from an, an entry, an affordable budget keyboard. It's gonna be nicer than the Keychron K2, though, that I have. Yeah, there definitely is an aluminum kind of sound to it. Hear that at the other side? I'll take a look at what. I'll take a look at what caused that. I don't really know if I've lubed, under lubed, or what. I don't know how to tell. It was a little bit click, a higher pitched over there. Hm. Oh well. It could also be the cheaper caps too, but.
it's the first time I've lubed stabilizers, so. It's not too bad for what it is. All right, let's put the other caps on. I definitely see why people recommend extra padding and stuff for this. It is a loud board. OBS is saying it's pushing tons of amounts of... Hold on. I don't know what you're doing, OBS, but... Twitch seems to say that it's fine. A lot of dropped frames, though. It seemed like my um, bitrate shot up for some reason for a bit there. I don't know why it would have done that. some switches in. It's like Legos.
I almost feel like this needs like some orange caps now to be like a Halloween pumpkin board or something. Is it dropping frames? What is going on here? Why is the connection so crappy? Are you guys losing, losing frames over there? I see two viewers. One of those is probably myself. Whoever else is watching, let me know if the connection seems to have issues. going on with this switch. It looks straight. But it won't go in. Let's try a different spot. be one bad switch or something. Alright. One out of 108 pandas so far seems to have issues. <laughs> I guess that's why they say buy more than you need, right?
I'm gonna do some programming, I think, tomorrow, if you're familiar with Deep End Dev, which I do. Um, deciding to take a new approach to it, though, is the 9.30 a.m. to 4.30 was starting to burn me out. Need to take it in smaller chunks. And do something different for a little bit. Might also start drawing. I was learning how to use Procreate on the iPad earlier today, and it was pretty cool. So I might doodle a little bit. Alright, there we go. 100... No, not 100. However many switches this is. It does feel nice and heavy. But the, um... This dampener... <laughs> yeah, what are... This does not do anything. It does a little something, I'm sure. But not much, the silicone pad. Yep, the programming, I need to, I need to vary up my, uh, what I'm doing. My brain was feeling a little worn out. Especially after the massive headache that was Tuesday's stream. I was reading about programming burnout, and it's recommended to take a break every hour, which I wasn't really capable of doing, especially with being on the clock and stuff, you know. That, and I don't have any senior developers to uh, around me as a freelance to ask questions, so I don't have good resources. The Discord only goes so far. Ooh. That does sound better now, actually. Let's see what Taya does. self-taught there's a little bit of a ping here on the right side of the space bar which shift are they the same shifts I don't know oh it's the left shift because it goes with the stabilizer A little bit of ping. Spring ping. I don't know if that's spring ping or what. But, pretty good. I like that. I like the way it's coming together. Sounds way better than my Gatoran Blue Clickies. Feels better too.
That does sound nice. That's not bad at all. Is this the right size? Nope. We're gonna go with a smaller. Ooh. Damn. So this is the first time I'm getting to actually like touch and hear these uh, sounds after watching so many streams. And it's pretty cool. I'm actually, let's see. I'm gonna angle my microphone downwards a little bit, kind of both ways. And that's coming through. I'm gonna turn off the EQ though. And you let me know if the sound needs adjusting at all. These are PBT caps, also, they feel nice. For only, for in-stock caps, it wasn't too bad. I see, there are some imperfections actually in the plastic. Yeah. That's why they are less. Oh well. Oh right, I don't have F keys on this board. What am I doing? What am I crazy? It's gonna be fun learning new, uh, learning how to use a different size board. E.G. Aqua King switches. I don't know if I know those. E.G. Aqua King. Ah, Everglide, eh? Nice and clear. 55 bucks, not bad. I don't know if I've heard these in action. Those are going to show some RGB. Pretty nice. Linear. A longer round. Four millimeter linear trip, huh? Nice. Alright, I gotta look at an NK65 layout. Obviously, we can do via and stuff. Actually, why don't we do... Let's get that.
I will add a window capture via. There it is. All the RGBs on. Look at all that. There we go. I've never used this before, so this will be fun. E tester. Sounds. It's a home switch over there. All right. What else we got here? Tab. That guy. Page up, page down, so we got home, page up, page down, and an end. Okay. Caps lock, A, S, D, F, G, H, J, K, L. yet we've got an, a right control so this guy probably needs to just be set and arrow keys that's a test mate ooh nice yeah there we go Keys accounted for. All right, what do we want to? This guy down here. That's a mod. I don't know, but lighting wise, I know I want to. Jelly bean raindrops. Whoa. I'm not an RGB person, so I'm thinking solid color. I'm gonna tone it down a bit. And I don't know, like, let's go with like a yellow. What would an effect speed be? Solid color, nothing. Okay. Well, that's cool. Plug and put the rest of the caps in.
And those are one use. Use that. I do have monkey type actually ready, as you can see. Right. Yeah. So monkey type is prepared and ready. But, uh... Not yet. I set up my OBS stuff today. And I am ready for streaming. I got the iPad. Or for doodling, I made a bunch of scenes. I got, I tested a bunch of different software out. I do need to get a downward camera or a different setup though, because I paint mini minifigures also for Dungeons and Dragons, and I thought about streaming um, mini miniature painting as well. I do a lot of hobbies. Ooh, yeah. These feel nice. Uh, it's a 75, actually, the GMMK Pro, not the GMMK. So the Pro is an exploded 75 form. I have a Salvation 60%, though. That will be next year. That I'm really excited about, the Salvation. Yeah, the Salvation should be pretty great. I got it in business gray. And I went in for the GMK Deep Well. So I think the business gray and the GMK Deep Well will look really nice together. I have two. I've heard that the GMMK Pro is not perfect, but for its price point, it's pretty cool what you get. So, whenever they get around to shipping it, because I reserved on March 30th, I want to say? March 30th or the 31st. So my flex batch is going to take a bit to fulfill. They are still in, I think, December, last time I checked the, the Reddit spreadsheet that people were keeping track on. For uh, budget keycaps, these are not too bad. Okay. I don't believe it had a tilde back tick anywhere. Uh, however, I might add one in myself at some point. I might use that more than... than page up. All right, now comes the hard part. Making sure that I have the right keys. So that was a home up top. And then it went to a page up. <laughs> A 
then a page down. I think this is the... Yeah, that's the wrong profile. So that's the issue. These might be off profile on the side here. That matches. And that does not match. So, oh, there's another page down right there, I see. That's the other issue that I had. There is no end key that matches the, um, what is this, 43321? I don't rem remember what the cherry profile is, but the end key is incorrect. And that's not the right shift. Do we have... There's a shift. That was a backspace that I picked up. switch these around. I'm thinking, what if we do get in there. Go. You're an R3. guy. R1? Will R1 work? These are... Is that an R1 row? They are. Okay, so I could do a page down right there. And there is, I think, a matching page up. Die sublimation? I th think that's what... Don't they all use that? And then, rather than page up right here... I will do an end key, I think. Wrong. etched are you talking about like the double or the the ones that let the light through oh 
Oh, right. I don't have the... So rather than R3, I think those are also maybe R2 up there. So... Is this the one I want? There we go. Now it matches. Home and page up, page down. Yeah, the um, the dual shot die sublimation, right? That's the the dual shot. It allows for the um, the color, the uh, the RGB shine through. I'm not an RGB person. I tend to like my minimalism. So I passed on the puddings. And, um, and going for that kind of stuff. Make a numpad or something at some point. Okay. There we are. An NK sixty five. I have a nice braided cable, but I don't have it plugged in at the moment. I will switch to that after this stream. Let's pull it via again. We will get this. Let's see, so this is home, but this is now end. This is page up, and this is page down. This guy is... I want that, this is gonna be like the mod pass through. Yeah, it is nice looking. It's firm and heavy too. This aluminum feels good. All right, uh, I don't know how to do layers and stuff though. Mo one, momentary turn layer one on. Nice. Okay, so yeah, that's what I want. So layer one makes those the function keys. I like that, and then that becomes a delete. Ah, an escape. That's where there's where my tilde backspace is. Volumes. Cool. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Mm, I can make macros too. I'm gonna have to look at those. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Save. Oh, I don't need to save to a JSON file. I think it's just, it's saved, right? If I pull up a... Notepad, and I... Yep, all right, it's saved. Cool. Okay. Time to do some monkey type. Pause the music, and we'll go ahead and get the
This is um, the Novel Key NK65 version 2, V2, I believe. Aluminum, uh, black aluminum with lubed, glorious pandas lubed with the G-lube. And uh, I believe the Novel Keys uh, stabilizers, the one, the stock Novel Key stabilizers, however, re-lubed with Crytox G, uh, 205 grade zero. And um, we're going to go ahead and do a monkey type. lower getting used to the cherry profile let me do it again that space bar that is a clunk of a space bar One sec, let me get this oriented. There we go, that's better. Let's try that again. I'm all excited and shaky. This is my first uh, custom keyboard, so. It sounds and feels so good. I'm so excited. It is a new profile, though. I'm used to the XDA uh, for a bit now, which has been flat. I gotta say, it feels nice. Coming from this guy, this this plastic uh, Keychron, very rattly. You hear the difference? <laughs> and then going to this guy.
my words per minute have come down a little bit, but I think that's uh, due to the fact that I am not used to the cherry profile anymore, as well as the angle. Let me get rid of the wrist rest. And just... Uh, Yeah, this is like, there's like a, a, a nice buttery, I don't know, people say thok. I gotta agree, thok is the word that's coming to me. Okay, so there's one 120, and now for uh, comparison. Oh, I gotta get a new uh, desk mat at some point. This is aging and not that great. Where is this? Oh, right, it's on the left side here. And so here's my, the, the clacky blues, the Gateron blues and a Keychron. There's no lubing on this thing whatsoever, I don't think. So yeah, I'm pretty pretty similar. I just need to get used to the cherry on the other one. But yeah, huge difference. And actually, after having just done a few monkey types on this guy, um, I like lining that up. That's just kind of cool. A few monkey types on this guy definitely has um, has made me realize how rattly. <laughs> That thing is this feels this feels stable like um, like the keys aren't going anywhere, you know Overall very satisfying Let's do one more It is stiffer so that's the other thing I think the clickies have um have a, a lighter spring in them and these are 67 gram uh, these are tactiles so there is kind of like a heavier a heaviness to them But they just feel so much better. They definitely there's there's a lot more satis there's so much more satisfying to write on than the than the Keychron with the Gateron blues. How's that sound over there? Using using an RE2 Electro Voice RE20 um, microphone through a warm preamp, a warm audio WA12 Mark II. 
and I turned off the EQ. I don't think the compressor was kicking in. The compressor's only for my voice. Um, but yeah. I think uh, that's where we'll leave off. Otherwise, next, um, once the films come in, might swap them out and try out the, these are the hippos. These guys are the, these are the linear hippos. They're pretty cool. They have like a, 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 a what would you say? They're not like as lavender as the lavenders. These, they have like a pinkish, purplish hippo kind of hue to them. And then the, so the Gatterons are almost, yeah, seven grams, give or take a gram of, um, error so these are heavier than the uh, than the Gaterons so tripped over my finger there at the end all right yeah this is gonna be this will make uh this will refresh my ooh 45 grams those are light i have a uh, boba u4t thaki switches coming that are gonna be 62 grams so it's a lighter tactile that we can try out i've heard good things about the boba thakis um so we get to play with those and uh, the linear hippos, but this is going to be the the uh, experimentation board for a while. This um, this hot swap board. So I might every now and then get some different switches and things to to try out and put in it. And then um, also the sorbethane. Um, I'm curious. I'm going to have to cut the little holes and things and make it. I'll probably line it up perfectly to the other thing. So I'll be very curious how the uh, the sorbethane sounds compared but honestly this does not isn't nearly as rattly as people made it seem like it was going to be i don't know if it's just uh if i did something different or what but i like it what lighting do we have alphas and mods color ooh we can do di two different so the alphas maybe that and then That's kind of fun. I do need to get a downward kind of pokeball now actually <laughs> gradient vertical color oh nice so yeah it goes from gold down to white towards the bottom I kind of like that that's kind of nice Radial color. Oh, that's the color is like rotating in a circle around it. Raindrops. What's raindrops do? Oh, they're just kind of like twinkling a little bit. I liked the gradient vertical color personally. And I'm going to go with 
yeah, like a darker gold at the top down to a lighter color at the bottom, and I'm gonna cut the power by like somewhere around there. That feels good. Or just turn them off entirely, honestly. I'm not a huge lighting kind of guy. I do like a caps lock color indicator. Oh, they're over there. That's nice. It's got two blue lights, if I can get and show it. Eh. Caps lock. Ooh, and the the layer key shows when we've activated the layer. That's really nice too. I recommend this board as as a first and fresh user. What would the caps lock indicator be? Ah, colors, huh? Hold on, and turn the the light back up. Oh, I see the whole board goes to that color. That's pretty neat. I'm messing in Via at the moment. I'll pop that up. I kind of like that. That's a really nice way of letting of alerting you that you put your your caps lock on. I'm gonna do it to that red. And then layer one, I like that too. Layer one is gonna go to just a fresh bright white. That's nice. That's all I need at the moment. And we can drop that brightness down a bit. Well, I like that. I can do that. Okay. Cool. So what was layer... What was layer one? Our function keys. Delete. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the GMMK Pro, and I will definitely put that together on here. I have, um, you can see up there, I have the, the polycarbonate plate ready. Um, I've got different keycaps for it, and then uh, I've got the Duroc V2 stabilizers, which um, we might have to file down the polycarbonate um, in order to get that to fit. But... Um, I'm not too worried. Let me turn on the, uh, I forgot to turn the music back on. There we go. So what do we got here? We got function keys, backspace becomes delete. That makes sense to me. I don't know what reset is. What else, what are we missing that I might want? I got the black GMMK Pro and then I got the white keycaps. So a nice black and white. And originally the Glorious Pandas were going to be for the GMMK Pro, but when I found out that that wasn't shipping for a while, um, well, I decided to spend my money elsewhere. So maybe we'll put the pandas in it, or, some, or the, the, the hippos. Or move them around and we'll test them. Um... Ooh, you know what? I do use print screen sometimes, so I'll put print screen over there. What else?
I think I'll leave it at that for the moment. I don't think I really use anything. Cool. Alright. We'll do one more. A little bit more monkey type, and then I'm gonna sign off for the evening. It is 4.30, my wife is getting home soon, and she's gonna be like, what have you been doing today? No, she won't. She's not like that. first keyboard build. Thank you for uh, for hanging out. Um, I'm going to be on tomorrow to do some programming. I don't think I'm going to start at 9.30 a.m. though, so it'll maybe later in the day, uh, how about 10.30 to 11, something like that, and we'll make it a little bit shor shorter. But thanks for hanging out, everybody. Uh, Denny X for dropping by, and Zacky01 for, uh, for chilling for a little bit. Uh, I hope to do some more varied content, maybe some doodling as well, so I'll see you next time. Later, everybody. <laughs>